So, 2.3 problem set. Um, let's see here. 5 to 21. Use a calculator to find a decimal approximation. So you're just using your calculator and uh, plugging numbers in. If you look at 19, though, it says the cosine of 77 over the sine of 77. So you're going to take your calculator and find the cosine of 77 and put that over the sine of 77. So cosine of 77 is 0.22495 and I'm going to divide that by the sine of 77 which is 0.9744 and that's going to give me for an answer then 0.231 zero. So that's what they're looking for there. Let's see, as you continue on with 22 to 29, find a value of theta in the interval 0 to 90 that satisfies each statement. So what we're doing is we're looking for the degrees. So if we looked at number hmm, 22, sine of theta equals 0.84802194. So we're looking for theta. When we're looking for theta, we can write it as this. Okay, so see I put the decimal right after the sign if this is going to be a negative 1. So when you do sine to the negative 1, the arc sine is another name that they call that. Um, if we find the arc sine, then we put a decimal down instead of a degree because we're looking for that. So now I put in my calculator, 0.848, I'm just going to put 8480, and I'm going to take the arc sine, and that gives me about 58 degrees. So theta is about 58 degrees approximately, and this is what it's going to be. It's always going to be approximate, and it's 58 degrees. Because it says find a value of theta that is between 0 and 90. We don't want a number bigger than 90. Okay, 30 to 33 are some story kind of problems. Um, if you get assigned any problems that have to do with graphing calculators, you can skip those. I see 32 and 33 are like that. 34 to 37, use a calculator to evaluate. So you're taking like 36 cosine of 75 degrees 29 minutes, push the button. Times the cosine of 14 degrees 31 minutes, push the button, multiply those two. Then subtract the sine times the sine. So you're just doing the, the basic math there in order to find the answers. And then you've got some story problems and then 42... 47. You're also using your calculator to decide whether each statement is true or false. So, cosine of 40, is that the same as the cosine of 20 times 2? Okay, it'll just be yes or no. So that's it for the problem set for 2.3.